purchased a Kane Corso puppy for $490 from a breeder. They made me pay in full prior to getting the dog. I sent them the money and I never heard back. Hold on, let me find another DM I got today. Can you look at this breeder and tell me what you think? So, obviously I go to the breeder page. They're selling their Kane Corso puppies for $600. <laughs> I don't get it, people. I've done videos on this before. I'm always posting stuff on my Instagram stories, and I still constantly get DM'd on my Instagram, Jason Corey 4 and one about these same issues over and over and over again. Sorry, bro. The person that sent this person, this breeder, $500, you're not getting your money back. They took your money and they ran. Has anyone seen any scams like that? Do you know what's not a scam? This channel's not a scam. So if you don't want to be scammed, make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, ring my dingling so you don't miss any of the newest videos on Kane Corsos or Bruce Wayne. It's the weekend, guys, and we're about to have some fun. is when snowmobilers go by so much to the point like we don't even have him on a leash and he just stands there and he literally his demeanor remains unchanged he doesn't he, get nervous he doesn't he just stands there and waits watches him pass maybe sniffs the air if things smell different and that's about it goes about his business it's kind of like how you you essentially trained him. she basically trained him when walking on a leash when the car is coming <clears throat> to kind of step off the road all she did was basically make him, every time a car is coming, go yep. off the side of the road. Came over to the side. And essentially over time, he's like, oh, a car is coming, this is what I have to do. This is what we do, yep. Super awesome, because remember what he used to be super afraid of? Motorcycles. Yeah. Which sound very similar yes. to snowmobiles. They're kind of weird looking. There's somebody sitting on like a, you know, like, right. a, like a motorcycle. A on. What is that? So, a lot of your puppies guys are gonna go through fear stages. Bruce Wayne's was one thing was motorcycles. And as you can see, he grew out of it. He figured it out himself. We worked with him a little bit on it. I guess stay patient. If yeah. you're dealing with a puppy, adolescent dog, not just puppies, like adolescents as they're growing, they start going through fear stages of something they weren't afraid of before. Just takes a lot of patience. Kind of let them work it out themselves. Don't cuddle the dog, don't love the dog. Basically ignore the situation. Mm -hmm. Remove the dog if you can from the situation and start over at a distance. Like right. let them watch snowmobilers or motorcycles from a thousand feet away. You do want to continue to expose them to it. Yes. Though. He used to also be afraid of school buses. I don't know if you remember that, but I used to oh, walk yeah. him before work. Yep. And when he was unimpacted by cars, he got afraid of school buses and like the noise they would make. Yes. So. He was afraid of just traffic in general on yeah. our road. We would walk downtown where the speed limit's 30. He wasn't scared at all. But when the car gets up to 50, 60 miles an hour, it completely changes the sound of the car. Yeah. It sounds like just the echo of the tires off the, the pavement change it. So he was afraid for a little while of just traffic in general. Right. Again, patience, working with him, not coddling him. Not making a big deal about not it. Not making a big deal about it. Definitely not comfort comforting him at all during those times. Um, like yeah. with school buses, he'd want to step off to the side and just stand there. I didn't do that. We we got to the side and we kept walking. He was like, no, we're going to keep moving. Just ignored we're it. move through this. Yeah. See how Bruce Wayne doesn't have a ton of gunk in his eyes? That's highly due to what? His raw diet. As soon as we put him on a raw diet, that was like one of the first things we noticed was that eye gunk is gone because he was so much more healthy. Clear eyes and a shiny coat. Clear eyes, shiny coat. Shiny, shiny, shiny. That's a good indication <laughs> that you or your puppy dog is healthy. If you guys need help with your raw diets or how to train your puppy dogs so they're super responsive like Bruce Wayne, non-reactive when there's loud noises around, you can get them amped up and then to level 10 and bring them back down to zero instantly. Check out the links in the description, guys. Amazing courses. There's a perfect puppy course. There's a canine boot camp course. There's a raw masterclass. There's a bundle of all the courses with a bonus course specifically on Kane Corsos. Use code Jason, save 10%. So the Corys have a little bit of a crazy project going on right now. We decided to stop mid-project, take the dog out for a walk since he's had no attention today. Yeah. I left him at home just so I could quickly go to the gym and train. I don't think he was happy about that. He was mad. He was I mad. wanted him to lay in bed and sleep with me. He was like, no, I'm mad at you. You take dad away from me. <laughs> so the project we have going on is we are completely spring cleaning our house. Clean out. Clean out. It's been a disaster area of crap piling upon 
It's my fault. <laughs> the truth. I don't want you to take any of that credit. It's all me. I don't really have a lot of things, guys. He doesn't. I do not. I keep it pretty minimalistic. My wife likes to shop. She's a sponsored athlete. People send me free things too. She gets a lot of free clothes. So they start piling up over time. House looks completely different now. Yeah. It's like a brand new house. I love it. Yeah. It's so amazing. Bruce Wayne's project is to pee on literally everything he can find. How many people can take their dog from that hyped up crazy to just normal? When Not we many. shut it down, he shuts it down. Uh, exactly. Which is super important. Especially when you have a dog that can eat you. That's good training. So it's just like, all right, stop. And he's done. Hi. Good boy. This dog loves this woman so much. It's insane. Uh -oh. And you can just see how happy Bruce Wayne is right now. Bruce Wayne, stay. Good stay, Bruce Wayne. Good boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi. Hi. Missed you. Missed you. Even though we got an extra size deep couch for Bruce Wayne, he's still always hanging his paws off. Bro, why are you always hanging your paws off? Look it. Which you, like, you're like half on, half off. Like, I don't understand what you're trying to do here. You wanna get cozy? Do you want me pushy up? All right, there we go. That better? Paws are still hanging, but at least you're chilling now. Look at the size difference. He thinks someone's here. So he pushed himself up against me. About to take this dude on a second walk. Kara just got done. Boom, cleaning out this mess. We can actually walk in our laundry room now. Bro, you can actually get a drink easier now without stepping over all the laundry. Yeah. 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 Walk number two for Mr. Bruce Wayne. Lucky dude gets to uh, go on a canal walk with Norman. It's the weekend. Norman's mommy and daddy are working all day, so we typically let him out and we figured, hey, let's take them all on a walk, get the puppy a little bit more socialization experience being out and about. Norman, gotta greet Norman today. For the first time, he sat down, so I'll give you a pat. Bruce isn't really caring about Norman jumping on him. He's like, whatever, bro. He's like, I got things to smell, things to pee on. Don't get in the way or you're gonna get peed on. I feel like Bruce Wayne missed Norman over the week. I agree. I think he was like looking for him yesterday because he normally sees him yesterday. He didn't see him Monday or yesterday. Again, this is teaching Norman to stay with the pack. So hopefully when he's older, you know, it'll be easy to walk him off leash. We'll see. Victim of himself right there. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. Fun fact, we've never been to this area of the canal. So even though it may look the same to you and it kind of looks the same to us, it looks like a whole different world to Bruce Wayne because he's seeing things through his nose. Bruce won't even make eye contact with him and let, like he won't even give him the time of day. Yeah. Bruce is being bougie today. He, he is. He would not give Norman the time of day. Aww. Norman jumps at him, he just moves his head and keeps on moving. And it's also teaching Norman to never quit on his goals. You know? Just keep trying, buddy. Keep trying to be his best friend. <laughs> Don't give up. Don't be a quitter. It'll happen eventually. It will. <laughs> People are falling for this scam every single day. And unfortunately, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Bruce Wayne has seriously treated like King Guy's organic steak. Come on. Doesn't take Bruce Wayne long to get out of bed when, uh, Fresh meats are on the table. Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. You're never gonna get a Connie Corso puppy 
for under $500. And if you do get a Kane Corso puppy for under $500, it's some extremely rare circumstance, 0.001% chance it's gonna happen, or you're not gonna get a Conde Corso puppy. Yes, I've had many people DM me saying this exact same thing, where they purchased from a breeder, thinking it was a purebred Conde Corso, and it didn't even have any Conde Corso in it, and it wasn't even a purebred dog. So anytime I see a scam like this, or come across something like this, I'm always, I try to be proactive, and obviously, unless I'm, the one involved getting scammed. I don't know if it's a scam, but 99.99% of the time it's a scam. So I typically will repost the ad for Kanye Corso puppies for $500, $600, $700, just letting people aware that, hey, I'm pretty sure guys that this is a scam. Do not go trying to buy a Kanye Corso puppy for $500. And that's the other thing. I, I question that. If you're price shopping that hard for a puppy, Bruce Wayne back there waiting all politely for his food. That's how you have to train your dogs, guys. Good boy, Bruce Wayne. I question if you can even afford to take care of a Kanye Corso. They are extremely expensive to take care of. They're large dogs. The larger the dog, the more food they have to eat. The larger the dog, the bigger the vet bills. Like every little cost for your dog goes up quite a bit when you have a large dog. So if you're price shopping that hard for a Conde Corso, I highly suggest you check out my how much it costs to own a Conde Corso video because they give an entire breakdown of what it cost me. Yes, he's a little bit larger than the average, but it'll still give you a rough estimate on how much it costs just to own one of these guys. Probably make some uh, soup for Bruce Wayne out of this bone. Give him just a little bit of liver. This is turkey liver. Then we have some ground organic beef as well. On average, I feed Bruce Wayne 2.5 pounds per meal. He eats two times a day. He doesn't really get treats. Every now and then he may, but never enough to add it towards his daily food intake. He's bougie, so I try to keep all his different foods like separated. He doesn't like them mixed together. We're at 2.14, so a little bit more food. Let's give me some of these guys. Anybody guess what these are? Take a guess. Comment down below what you think these are. So I urge you guys, A, don't be price shopping for a puppy. Two, if you are price shopping for a puppy, realize you're not gonna find a Connie Corso, a legit Connie Corso from a legit breeder for under $1,500 most likely. And D, if you see any of these ads, just repost it on your social medias and tag me in it and then I can repost it on my social media. So remember, these scams are all over the place. You usually see them for $500, $600, $700 Akane Corso puppies. 99.99% of the time it's a scam. Screenshot it, put it up in your Instagram story, tag me in it, I'll repost it. That way, we, that's the best thing we can do as a community is to spread the word so people don't keep getting scammed. Plate of meats. Women doing womanly things <laughs> for a change. Usually I'm the housewife. Adulting. Not well, womanly. Don't be sexist. I will be sexist. <laughs> My audience will yell at me for being sexist. And that's completely fine. Big dude in the bed. Big dude ate dinner. Did he? Yep. You fed him already? Fed him already. He ate it all? Two and a half. He's hungry. The minute, I br the, minute the beef mm -hmm. comes out of its package, Bruce Wayne comes running. Kind of like her. Same. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think we had a good day with Bruce Wayne today. It was fun seeing Norman. This <laughs> It was fun watching Bruce Wayne ignore Norman. It was. Because it was that was like different for the first time. Usually like Bruce Wayne would interact with them, kind of give him to play. But we also went in that, as you guys saw, that walk this morning. It was quite long. It was a long one. Probably a couple miles. I think so. We were out there for at least 45. Walking in snow and it was cold. So Bruce Wayne is a, uh, he's done for the night. I'm calling it quits for the night, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to do all the things on the way out. Subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. Ring the ding-a-ling. Until next time. Peace. peace.